Hey everyone, today we're going to read Friends to the Rescue by Suzanne Chiu, illustrated by Caroline Pedler. Here we go. One bright day, Badger was busy reading when Mouse raced over to him. Badger, look at this rope I found, she cried. It's perfect for a clothesline. Will you help me make one? Of course, smiled Badger. He picked up his tools and off they went. In no time at all, Mouse's laundry hung on her brand new line. I wonder where the rope came from, said Badger. Then something in the bushes caught his eye. He reached into the leaves and pulled it out. It's a basket, squeaked Mouse. It's a mystery, frowned Badger. How did it get here? Mouse hopped around excitedly. It would make a great house for Hedgehog. Badger nodded. Hmm, let's surprise him. They patched and mended until the house was perfect. Hedgehog will be so happy, Mouse giggled. And she was right. Thank you, squealed Hedgehog. It's wonderful. We found it in the bushes, said Mouse. That's strange, said Hedgehog. I found something too. Come with me. But when they reached the clearing, Rabbit was already there. Look at my beautiful cloth, he cried. I'm going to make a tent. But I need it to make a hammock, said Hedgehog. Can I have some for a kite, Mouse asked. We can share it, smiled Badger. There's plenty to go around. The rabbit carefully divided up the cloth. H for Hedgehog, R for Rabbit, M for Mouse. Hold on, frowned Hedgehog. Why do you have the biggest piece? Because I'm the biggest, said Rabbit. But I found it first, huffed Hedgehog and my piece is too small to make anything. Mouse sniffed. The friends started to bicker, and soon there was a terrible argument. See, this is Hedgehog, and this part is Mouse, but Rabbit has a lot right here. That's not being fair. Stop, said Badger. There is no need to argue. We can share the cloth equally. Look. He divided the cloth into three equal pieces. Hooray! Everyone cheered. I'll start cutting, beamed Rabbit. But just then, Bird swooped down. Quick, quick, she chirped. Someone needs our help. They followed Bird to the tallest tree in the forest. There, clinging to the branch, was a frightened little mole. Help, he yelled. Help! How terrible, fretted Rabbit. What can we do? squeaked Mouse. Badger frowned. We must rescue him. I could try to carry him down, offered Bird, but I might not be strong enough. We could build a really tall ladder, Hedgehog suggested, but that would, that would take a very long time. I know, said Rabbit. Mo can jump and we'll catch him in that piece of cloth. They all rushed off to get it. The friends stretched out the cloth like a huge trampoline. Jump, Mo! shouted Badger. We'll catch you. But when Mo looked down, he couldn't believe his eyes. My hot air balloon, he cried. A balloon? gasped Badger. That's where all those useful things came from? I tumbled out when my balloon bumped into this tree, called Mole. I thought I'd lost it forever. Don't worry, shouted Badger. We'll fix your balloon and use it to rescue you. I'm sorry, there'll be no new clothesline or house, said Badger, as they collected the pieces of Mole's hot air balloon. We don't mind, the friends replied. We must help Mole. Everyone went to work. They nodded and tied, 
and stitched and glued until the balloon was as good as new. We're coming, Mo. We're coming, Mo called Rabbit as the balloon sailed up upward. At the top of the tree, Badger reached out with a strong, friendly paw. Don't be frightened, Mo, he said. Just hold on tight. You won't let go, whispered Mo. I promise, said Badger, and with a whoosh, he pulled Mo to safety. What great new friends you are, beamed Mo. How can I ever thank you? Well, said Badger, we were hoping you'd take us for a ride, laughed Rabbit. That's a wonderful idea, giggled Mo. Away we go. And they all floated off toward a brand new adventure.